So in this video, what I want to do is talk about 10 features that go relatively unnoticed and under the radar for the Apple Notes application. Between Apple Notes and Apple's new Freeform application, those two applications basically encompass all of my note taking, my ideating, my jotting down, kind of putting all my ideas from my brain all the way down to digital pen and paper. So like I said in this video, let's talk about these 10 features that go relatively unnoticed and leave some comments down below of anything that you learned that's new to you or if these are all things that you use on a daily basis, but you might be surprised. Let's get into it. So the first tip or feature that I want to show is you click on the little camera button and press on scan documents and that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to look for a document and you have two ways to actually do this. You can do it automatically or manually. The automatic version pretty much just looks for what it thinks is going to be a document that you want to scan and it scans it automatically versus manually. You scan it, it still looks for a document, but then you can resize it just in case there's some areas that were missing with the automated version of this. But you can scan any. As you can see, I scanned an actual sticker here, but you can scan receipts, actual documents, letters, whatever the case may be, anything that you need, and it turns it into a PDF. The next one is very similar. So you go back into the camera, and this is going to have to be scan for text. So you can see that the bottom turns into a viewfinder for your iPad, and these work on your iPhone as well, but you can see that it's gonna look for letters, and you can see that it tries to convert those letters into actual text, and you can see that it's doing it live. Now, it didn't get this perfectly because yes, the font is a little bit weird, it should say press publish, but it at least gave it a go, and normally with normal text, it's gonna go very quickly and very accurately. Now, the next one is going to be for the new quick note feature. So if you go into your settings, go into your notes, scroll down to corner gestures, you can actually decide where you want the quick note to come from, either the bottom right or the bottom left. I like to keep it on the bottom left, and you can use your finger as well as your Apple Pencil for this, but then you can also activate the quick note feature inside of your control center. So add it to your control center, and then a new toggle is gonna to show up for you to activate that. So go into your control center, hit the new quick note feature, and then boom, your quick notes jump up at you from the bottom left, but you can also drag with your finger or your Apple Pencil and actually use the quick note feature as it's intended to be used as a little way to jot down notes like a notepad. So let's say you're on an actual document or let's say you're at a website and you want to take some notes of that website, by all means you can do that with a quick note. And the quick note actually works great because you can actually save, let's say you are on a website, you can save links on there that turns into actual bookmarks and it's gonna open those links for you to revisit them whenever you go back to that note. Now this next one is very, very familiar to a lot of people. It's just to share the note with anybody else in iOS. So you can collaborate on any note just by purely sharing it via an iMessage or an AirDrop or a Slack, whatever the case may be, it's basically just a link that gets sent in order for you to actually collaborate in real time and it works perfectly. And now this next one is relatively new to iPadOS 16 and it's the ability to lock a note. So if you go into the three dots, you press lock, it's going to ask for you to put a pin number in there and then you can lock that note and actually enable face ID. So you can lock notes behind a pin wall or you can lock it behind a face ID wall. And you can see that it's unlocked right there and there's a lock button on the top right hand corner that you just press and it's gonna lock that note. And then to unlock that note, you just press view note, it hits face ID and then that note gets fully unlocked for you to view, which is amazing to see. And then you can easily get rid of that lock as well. And now this next one is actually very, very important and it's one that it's gonna save a lot of time for you. And it's gonna be smart folders. So you can now create a new folder and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it tasks over here. But then what it basically does is you can set criteria so it creates, so pretty much any note that fits inside of that criteria that you set, whether it's time-based, whether it's tag-based or whatever the case may be, all those notes are gonna be smartly put into your new task folder. And you can do this for anything whatsoever, so it works extremely well when you start adding tags in there, which is very, very cool. So smart folders are a must know when it comes to navigating iPadOS 16 and Apple Notes. Now this next one is actually pretty interesting. It actually goes back to the sharing idea. So first you can share actual notes, but now you can actually share actual folders. Now one thing to caveat which we see here is if you try to share a folder that has a locked document in there, it will not allow you to share that folder. So you have to go to a folder that has no locked documents, but it's very simple. You hit the three dots on the top right hand corner of the notes section, and then you can share it the same way that you share an actual note just by sending a text or an email or a link to any of these people. This next one is actually very, very cool and I learned this one recently. So you can actually turn any notes application into a PDF document, which is kind of crazy. So there's a little bit of a workaround for this. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually go into the top right hand corner, then click on where it says collaborate. So when you click on that collaboration button, a little drop down menu is gonna come up and it says send copy. Then you're gonna scroll down to where it says mark up and now you're in this PDF mode. So you can mark this up however you see fit or use this as a workaround like I mentioned to actually just press done and make it a PDF. So once you're done with this PDF document or the markup, you press done, save as a PDF, save it into your file system, and then you're good to go and you have a full PDF version of your entire notes or that notes section and it's all PDFs as you can see right here in the folders application. Go there and now you have a PDF of that note. This next one is actually relatively unknown to a lot of people. You can actually use Siri 
to activate a note. So you just pull up Siri, whether you use the actual naming or you hold down the hold button, and you say, hey, make sure to take this note down, and then you speak what you want the note to say, then you can see right there, and then it's interactive. So you can click on that note that Siri created, and it's right there. This next one is actually relatively new to me too. So you can actually format the text in a bunch of different ways. All you have to do is highlight the text and then press the A button on the top right hand corner of the keyboard. You can actually change the actual type of size when it comes to like a title heading, a subheading, a body. You can actually bold, italicize, underline, strike through and actually change indentations and things like that. So a nice little way to manipulate what text looks like. And now we're rounding this off really soon here. But if you go into any actual note, you can actually swipe left on that note to pin it or you can pin or unpin with the three dots as well. So something to take note of if you have a note that's very important. And then one of the final ones that we have here is that you can actually share a note and bookmark pretty much any media or any media type onto any note. So here you can see that I'm on Twitter. We're gonna bookmark Trent Tech's tweet and all you have to do is press the share button, share it into a note, go into the note, and you can see that there's a badge there for the tweet. You can click on it, it's interactive, and then it takes you right to Twitter. And those are all the things we have to go through, guys, because the notes is very robust. And these are just some of the things that I wanted to share with you to make sure that you're aware of these features to fully optimize and take advantage of everything that the Notes app can do. So those are the features that I wanted to show everybody. Hopefully you learned at least one new feature and were able to walk away with something that you're going to use on a daily basis moving forward. I think one of the most underrated features is the PDF scanner. I mean, we've come such a long way from just taking a picture of a piece of paper to now literally it's scanning. It's a different type of picture that's being taken because it's extremely clear, especially if you have some decent lighting. So the PDF scanner and then converting notes into regular PDFs to be able to share moving forward, I think those are all great features that are must knows if you are trying to use Apple Notes as your main note taking device, which is what I use overall between Apple Notes and Freeform like I mentioned earlier. And I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys do want to check out the Freeform walkthrough that I created a couple months back when it first released. But that's going to do it for this video. If you did make it to the end and you learned something new, leave it a dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys want to watch more Mac OS, iPad OS, or iOS videos, click on one of these right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here. And all these features will work on iOS as well as iPad OS. Peace.